purpose of this experiment was to find the best air pressure in a soccer ball for maximum speed. The first step was to gather my materials. For this experiment, I used a velocity gun, a soccer ball, a soccer net, a pressure gauge, an air pump, and an inflator pin. Next, I made my hypothesis, and then I got to work. I measured out a 21 foot gap from the place I would shoot and the velocity gun with a 9 foot run up. I left the ball outside for about 10 minutes before recording data so it could climatize. This way when pumping up the ball to the PSI being tested, the PSI will not change with the temperature. The pressure gauge and pump need to be set to the PSI being tested. The ball gets set in the correct position and someone records my, da my data. Whilst using the velocity gun to get the speed, I recorded 25 shots on each leg using the same power for every PSI. This means fatigue would not ruin the experiment. Make sure making sure to forget the shots that do not hit the net so the elevation and curve do not become a factor that will affect the speed and the rest of the experiment. Pressure checks are needed between left and right foot shots just to make sure temperature is not changing the pressure. This process is repeated for every PSI. I did six different pressures starting with three PSI and increasing by two until 13 PSI. 50 shots per PSI which equals 300 shots in total. At 15 PSI it became too hard to kick and I could be another factor to ruin the results. After I finished gathering all my data, I compared my hypothesis with the conclusion to see how close I was. Then I worked on my board, effectively executing the rest of the task to finish the project. In conclusion, I set out to find the best air pressure for a soccer ball to get maximum speed. Before I conducted my experiment, my hypothesis was shot speed will increase with pressure. I was partially accurate. At 3 psi, my speeds were faster than the two higher pressures. And from there, the speeds increase massively, increasing by 3 kilometers, 6 kilometers, and 7 kilometers per hour on average. 11 psi was my fastest by slim margin, by 0 0.2 kilometers an hour. 9 psi was faster by the one pressure above it that I tested, by 1 or 2 kilometers an hour. Why did these surprising results occur? I believe that the prime point of contact between my foot and the ball had something to do with the unpredictable changes in speeds. If I hit the, bar, the ball in the tarsals, my midfoot, uh, it feels like I'm getting more power than if I were to hit the ball with the side of my foot. To improve this experiment, I could have a very precise kicking robot programmed to hit the same spot of the ball with the same part of its foot with the same power. So it will be per the perfect experiment with no factor to mess with the results. It's been Maximus Gamberg. Thanks for listening.